Hello, everyone. Welcome to Apollo School Online. This is a drawing that we're gonna do for today, and let's see what kind of tool you need for this class. Are you ready? Let's begin. All right. Today we're gonna use the pencil crayon to do the work. So let's see what media that we need to use. All right. First of all, we talk about the papers. So we need to use the sketch paper. All right. So you have to check your book, the joint papers. Are they written on the cover with sketchbook? All right. If you have those, that is the good one. All right. You might using this one, mixed media. So this paper that we can use for dry media like sketch, like pencil crayon, and also can use for watercolor. All right. So if you have this, that will be great as well. All right. So sketchbook or mixed media. If you don't have any one of them, you can use the printing paper. All right, printing paper is work for the dry media as well. All right, sketchbook, mixed media papers, or the printing paper. And of course, we need to use a pencil to do the work, right? A pencils, a nice erasers, and the sharpener. All right, I'm sure you have those. And especially, I want to describe about the tracing markers. All right, I'm looking for two different sizes. One is the five points markers. Looks like the big triangle on the top. It shows a thick line on the paper. And the other one is the ultra five points marker. It looks like the needle is very small and pointed. It will shows a thin lines on the paper. All right, so I need these two tracing marker, five points, ultra five point. So what if you don't have the needle marker, the ultra five point? You can use the pencil crayon, find the black one, okay, to do the tracing. It will looks like almost like the same. All right, all right. So make sure you have the right papers, the join tools, and the tracing markers. Okay, so now we can start to do our work. Okay, welcome to our second section, coloring. Okay, we're gonna have a full class to do the colors. Okay, so let's see. Grab your pencil crayon, and you might need to have. Uh, not eraser, the sharpener, okay? Because we have lots of things need to color. Okay, we're gonna start to color the background, the space. Okay, so let's see what color you need. I want to bright the blue, light blue or dark blue, doesn't matter, your choice. Purple, a little bit pink. All right, and let me find my black color right here. So I want to find this four colors, blue, light blue, dark blue, purple, pink, and black. All right, so I want to place the black and purple on the side first. We're gonna use that later, but not now. Okay, so sky blue or the dark blue, pink or a little bit dark pink, doesn't matter, just two colors. I want to start to color a little bit like this in between the space. When you touch the planets, the items, you have to be careful. So we start with the bright color first. See, I didn't color very heavy. I color very gently. So why? First of all, my hand is not going to feel tired very soon, right? Because I'm relaxing. I color so gentle. Right? And the light color is easy for me to mix the color. Okay, now my pink color. See, I color very light. I can blend in then. Not just the watercolor can blend in the color, also the pencil crayon. But you have to control your hand muscle. All right, I'm not going to blend in everywhere on the blue. I only color overlap a little bit because I want to have the pink and blue everywhere first. See, very gentle. 
so I can color very quick, right? But no scribbling. See, I always color on the same direction, up and down, up and down, right? I didn't do the scribbling or rolling or crossing. I keep the color looks like the same direction. All right, now I'm done with my pink. Now I went back to the blue and over the blue on top of the pink color. All right, so now your job is using these two color to color everywhere of the, out of the planet. Okay, so you have to color everywhere on the space. Okay, take your time and relax. No one use the hot pressures on the pencil crayon. You have to be gentle and elegant. Okay. All right, so what do we need with the purple and the black? Okay, so we're gonna use the purple and the black to color around the planets. So I use the purple to cast the, the planets, a uh, mushroom planets around. See, I have to be very careful because my mushroom is not going to be purple. So I have to use my patience to color. See, it looks like coloring around, right? But same thing, I'm coloring very, very gentle. I'm not going to fight with my pencil crayon, so I have to be nice with my pencil crayon, right? I'm not going to color like so heavy, use my entire energy. 
Okay, so let's see. I use the purple to color her on. Very light, about a finger size. So I only color about a finger size around the planet. I have to be very, very careful. So this time we have to call it even slower, right? Those are the background color. I don't want my background color ruining my work, especially I spend a lot of time on it, right? Okay, and the other planet you can use the pl a purple again or the black. Okay, you or you can mix them together. Okay, so I want to see the color looks like that around the planet. Okay, so when we start to apply the color on top, the planet can be stamped up, right? They are more clear. All right, so now be patient. All right, to colors around. If you want to color around the spaces, feel free to do it. All right. All right, so we finished the space, okay? But we have to work on our planets. All right, so since we have different planets, right? So I'm not asking you to grab the color like mine because we might have different idea, right? 
So now you have to start to do the color on the planets, your spaceship, and the star. All right. So quick remind. Let's see. All right. So first of all, we are not going to do the scribbling, isn't it? So we have to make the color looks very solid, clean, and nice. So which means I have to color around and color in the middle. And make sure there's no white space. Very solid. Okay. And remember, I teach you about the color value: dark, medium, and light. Right? Dark, medium, and light. If you could practice the color value as much as you could, then we can move up our level because we can do the sketch very soon. All right. So try your best to color the color volume. All right, dark, medium, and light, all controlled by the hand muscle. Color heavier, you got the dark color, and you color more gently, and you have a brighter color. All right. So take your time to start to color, and don't forget all the small items deserve to have their own color. So I wish you are not going to do the scribbling or crossing the color. Okay. So what do I mean by that? Even the dot is very small. They deserve to have their own color, right? I'm not going to crossing the color. I make sure they have their own color because I am a fair artist. I'm fair to everywhere, everything, every object for my joint. Right, so same as you. We don't be unfair. All right, everything is matter. Everything is matter on your joints. All right, so now you can begin to color your happy planet.
Ooh, it take me a while to finish my mushroom planet because I have lots of mushrooms and some of them are very tiny and small so I have to be very very careful alright but good art takes time I like my mushroom planet it looks colorful right even it took me a while and I only finished one planet and I have two more to go but I like it all the small area has their own color I didn't cross in the color everything every area has their own colors right every part is very unique unfair to every joint every single items on my paper right so you have to do the same thing i can do it and you can do it all right so continue to color your planets and try to making them looks pretty nice and professional all right
Uh, even my dessert planet is the smaller planet I have. But it took me an even longer time to do the color. Because I keep switch, switch, switch the color. So it took me a longer time. Right? But it looks very fancy because this third plan is supposed to be joyful. Isn't it? If I only have a few colors, it feels not sweet. Right? So it's good I taking the time to do the color because I love my dessert plan is now it looks pretty and colorful right so take your time i know your hands gonna be very tired and sore but we will got a masterpiece of the joint okay so take your time be patient if your hand is really hurt and painful you can step up and walk around and coming back quick quick and continue to do your work. All right?
finally done my last planet. If you haven't done this, that's okay. Keep working on it. So after you finish the planets, don't forget we have some stars around, right? It doesn't have to be just yellow, all right? It could be loose, like a little bit blue, green, up to you, your choice, all right? So what kind of star color you want to have? But try to find the color that can stem out from the background. For example, if you already use the sky blue or the navy blue, don't use the same color to color your stars because we might not see it, right? Because the color is too similar. So try to use different color from the background so we can see the start. All right? Okay, my hand is so sore, but I'm working so hard. And I love my joints. It looks pretty. Okay, then I have to find my markers or the pencils so I can sign the name and write down the date. Alright, so that's everything for today. Awesome work, everyone!